I'm feeling good. Catch me in the south light, rolling in a black dial, out running the sunrise. I'm feeling good. Devil on my hip, angel by my side, man. Everything is alright. I'm feeling good. since I uh, had an update on the 2018 DR650. Moved my son on his PW80. Here comes the PW50. <laughs> yeah, rock his exhaust. I wrap mine too. I love everything I've done to the bike. These hand grips are awesome. They took some modification. I had to grind some out so they'd fit these fat bars. The risers work great. The bars are good. These mirrors are awesome. Definitely get these mirrors. Tank bag. Love this seat. Absolutely love it. sit up close up front for uh, trail riding, aggressive riding, and then when you're just cruising down the highway, you can sit on the back. It's nice and comfy. I can uh, cruise on this bike for hours, no problems. And you can stand up too if you get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I got the Plex Vels from FFRC. I absolutely love them completely transform the bike. I put in some stiffer front springs too because I'm a heavy dude. And for the rear shock I haven't done anything. I just jacked the preload all the way up so it's kind of bouncy but works for me. Um, these death wings tires are still working for what I use the bike for just ripping down back roads and shit. So I'll keep them for a while. They really do suck on the grass and mind anything else. Um, definitely get this windshield. These are awesome. I can tuck down behind it Or uh, just normally it takes all the wind pressure off your chest, which is a great thing, but you can tuck in Take some of the wind pressure off your head and neck too Stop some of the big bugs and rocks uh, You definitely need this plastic skid plate for sure if You're cruising down back roads I love the FMF pipe it has a nice part to it Q4. Sounds great. Uh, 150 jet. Part. A few modifications. She rips now. Gear ratio is perfect. Drop to tooth on the front sprocket. When you wrap your exhaust, it makes it corrode a little bit faster, rust it out. But uh, I had to do it because we've had a lot of uh, fires, forest fires lately, and 
few times I've been worried about this pipe burning the grass. So I just wrapped it. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> Insert dirty joke here. Anyways, um, yeah. Just about ready to start my trip here. It's uh, August 15th, 2019. And this is my first real road trip with my 2018 DR650. I bought it last summer, but I just stayed around home with it. So, kind of a gloomy day out. Hope it don't hit too much rain. <clears throat> uh, so, got my jerry can, my big uh, Saddleman bag tooling bag. I don't have uh, any panners or, or uh, battle bags yet, but just worked out uh, taking this trip right now. wasn't really prepared, but I'm going anyways. <laughs> That's what it's all about, the adventure. Bike's doing really well. It handles really well on these twisty mountain roads. I love it. It's got more than enough power. Climb the steep grades. It's tuned fairly well. Doesn't seem to be running too rich or too lean and pretty much right in the middle it's a little bit lean at uh, sea level and I find when I get on top of the mountains it starts popping a lot it's a lot of kind of rich but it's fairly balanced much with only 650 cc's but it's doing great I don't feel like I need any more power the chains a little warm it's doing fine it seems loose right there but when I put my weight on the bike and the swing arm comes up it, it tightens up Good. 
So I don't know what Suzuki geared this bike for from the factory, but I don't know. Like I geared it down. I put a 14 tooth sprocket on the front. I geared it down one tooth in the front. And it's happy all day long at 120 kilometers an hour. It almost seems like it's lugging at 100 kilometers an hour. So I don't know what Suzuki geared it so high for. But if you drop a tooth in the front to 14, 14, then you're uh, perfectly geared for almost every situation. You might still be a little bit high off-road, really technical off-road. But with these tires, I'm not doing a lot of that anyways. Let's see, I've got 4,000K on her now. This is, uh, that's 4,000K on this tire. It is showing some wear. That's good yet. Good for a little bit. tell you though I wouldn't be this comfortable for this long without handlebar risers this seat and dropped lower foot pegs those three things transform this bike into a touring machine uh, a few other things like the windshield really helps nice hand guards nice mirrors uh, as far as things I would do different Definitely need a way to store some luggage on the side of the bike. I got too much weight up high here. She wheelies pretty easy. It's hard to keep the front wheel down. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. That tank bag works really good. Get some better tires later on. Other than that, I don't think there's any more modifications I really need to make. Uh, she's perfectly fine the way it is. Now, I bought this bike about a year ago. We rode around home last summer, but this is my first real trip with it. Road trip. And you don't really bond with your bike until you take it for a real road trip. Like a few days at least get far enough away from home that it's just you and the bike and you gotta rely on it for everything. That's when you really get to know a machine. And I love this DR650. 